you know, we just set a record for, I think, the highest scoring offense, you know, in, in pit history. So uh, it's always, uh, even if we had scored three points and it was three to zero, I mean, it, it would always be a win to celebrate. So just really thankful uh, for everything, like I keep saying. Thanks, Nathan. Nathan. Yeah. First time to Chester, you've thrown some deep balls to him where it's a jump ball, where he uses his size to body somebody out. But those were the first time he took kind of a, a shorter route and, and really took off with it. I'm sure that's something you've seen from him in, in oh, yeah. practice. But how good was it to see kind of that, that, that extra, extra thing from him? Really yeah, it was awesome to see, you know, see him go do, show that to everybody else, that, that burst. Everybody finally saw his speed today. Not that they don't on film when he's running go routes, but uh, you really saw it with, with his hands, you know, the ball in his hands uh, to go out and make a play. So really happy for him. Him, you know, more than anybody, I mean, I think he worked the hardest out of anybody on our whole team uh, this off season. So I tell him that all the time, just how happy I am for him and how much his work's really paid off. Nathan, you and then obviously this the entire offense have played some of your best football the last three weeks. First, putting up 43 against Clemson, 56 last week, 76 today. Are you worried now with maybe like close to a month layoff before the bowl game that you guys might lose some of that steam going into the bowl game, or how do you keep that going? Yeah, well, I'm just gonna enjoy it today. Today was an awesome win, uh, and you know, bowl game prep is, is a whole nother thing. I, I, one thing I've learned of this of this team, this offense, you know, especially with all the senior leaders, especially up front on the O line, uh, just that they always come ready to play. I mean, James receivers they're always ready to play I don't really have to worry about getting everybody ready to play so I think you know we'll, we'll have to get better still uh, in this bowl prep but uh, you know they're they're always ready what's it like looking at how far this offense has come you guys finished regular season averaging like more than 42 points per game I mean, it's, yeah it's a pretty big switch from last year it is it's pretty awesome uh, those were our goals at the beginning of the season to be the highest scoring offense in the ACC so I don't know where we stand there but hopefully we gave ourselves a shot and uh, it was it was certainly a fun year. Is that the craziest game you ever involved in? Yeah, it was a little crazy. Yeah, I've, I've never been, I've never scored 76 points in a game before. And, uh, you know, to have a high scoring game like that, it was a little different. Nate, what's it like just playing at Heinz Field, playing your last game here? Like, just kind of sum that up. Okay. Oh, it was awesome. Uh, you know, it's a great arena uh, with some great fans and, and just really great to, to be in that stadium with the, my teammates too. That, that was something that was really special. Uh, you know, just all the work you put in off season and, and throughout the year and, and uh, you know, have, have a win the last game, which we didn't have last year, uh, was a goal of mine that I wanted to go out the right way. So to have that, then to have senior day and get to see my parents, my wife and uh, everything out there, it was a pretty special day. You know, all off season we would ask you about how you replaced Tyler Boyd. You always <laughs> took up for the <laughs> yeah. guys that you have. You feel like this season, certainly today, but this season they've really kind of made a statement about what they're going to do, what they can do. I hope so. Uh, you know, Jester. Obviously, he's got one more year, so he made a huge statement that you know he, he can go out there and make some plays. Obviously, Quadri with the ball in his hand, and then you know Tez. I was really happy for him. You know, our senior, he, he's had a tough year with having to miss so many games. Uh, you know, with a freak injury, so I was really happy for him to get that touchdown against the school. You know, he came from, and I know he always wants to play good against them. So really happy for him. Really happy for all our guys. I know uh, you obviously would have liked to win more games than Nate, I'm sure, but you know, overall, is this a pretty good way to end your college career this season? Yeah, uh, you know, our, our goal was absolutely the ACC championship. So, no, you know, shortcomings that, I mean, we had shortcomings there that, you know, we, we didn't get that done. But, you know, we tried to make the best. Uh, we, we beat, you know, two highly ranked teams, uh, obviously. And, you know, we, we finished with eight wins. So, uh, just try to do the best with what happened. And uh, hopefully we can go get nine uh, with this bowl game, too.